Hey everybody, UIM Rega, and welcome to my first ever video in this Ultimate Iron Man series. This account isn't exactly fresh, but it barely has any playtime, so we're starting from here. If you like what you see, why not give it a like and a subscribe to keep up with my future videos. Here you can see a quick overview of the quests we've completed before starting this series, and my overall stats. I haven't trained much on my own, 99% of what you see here is just quest rewards. I've done a little bit of melee combat killing imps for imp catcher and some thieving to get cakes as a reliable food, and apparently I mined at some point, but I don't remember doing that. In this episode, we'll be completing Tree Gnome Village, Monk's Friend, Hazel Colt, Murder Mystery, and Merlin's Crystal. We'll also talk a little bit about the goals for this account. Starting off here, I've picked up Tree Gnome Village from Bolren and we're at the first NPC to talk to. Let's get going and I will see you when we get to the Khazard Warlord. I wanted to talk about the goals for this account while we fight this boss, but he was taking a long time and I couldn't focus on the fight and the dialogue, so we'll just talk about it while we walk back. Uh, just to show you guys what I did, he spawns somewhere over here, you talk to him, and this tile here is where he stops. So I would click here, and I'd click to attack, walk back, click to attack, walk back, it's called flinching. Um, but for some reason with the scimitar I could literally do it at this speed and it was letting me hit him and he wouldn't hit me back uh, but you know it took a while because it's a seal scimitar so our first goal is to get the quest blank cape getting the cape unlocks so much content in runescape and as a UIM we need as much help as we can get I have a quest point cape on my main account and I love all the quests so I really don't mind doing it again. Our second goal in this series is to get the diary and the music capes. I've never gotten a diary cape on an account before so this will be quite challenging. I don't have a set path to get there yet but we will learn together on the way. My final end goal for this account is to conquer the inferno and obtain a scythe of Viture. I've never attempted the Inferno or the Theater of Blood, so this feels like huge hurdles to jump. Uh, as far as the Theater of Blood goes, I don't want to be carried through the raid, so we need to make sure we have the stats and we're actually contributing to the raid like a real raid team member. Uh, some goals may change along the way, but you know, that's part of the charm of RuneScape. So as we finish that up here, we're going to run up to King Bolren. And this should be quest complete. Let's get through the dialogue. Oh, we got a little ceremony going. Cool. All right, Tree Gnome Village completed. Two quest points, 11,450 attack XP, and this useless amulet. Uh, oh, maybe it's not useless. We now have 36 attack. We have four more levels until we can go get ourselves a rune scimitar. All right, with Tree Gnome Village complete, our next quest is Monk's Friend. For this quest, we need logs and a jug of water. Luckily, I kept my bronze axe after Trainome Village and didn't drop it like I normally do, so logs shouldn't be a problem. Let's get these right now. And for a jug of water, we can go buy a jug from the Ardoon General Store. Actually, there's a general store right here. We'll get it here. Uh, jugs should only cost 1 GP according to the wiki, and then we just have to find any old water source and fill it up. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Let's see. One coin. All right, and with that, we will see you at the end of Monk's Friend. All right, and after probably not even a five minute quest, Monk Friend is complete. One quest point, eight law runes, and 2,000 woodcutting experience, bringing us up to level 14. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the law runes yet. I think I'm going to try to sell them at a general store because I don't have levels to teleport anywhere yet. So these, yeah, 25, these won't be useful for a while. I guess I could hold on to them, depending on how much they sell for at the store, but the plan right now is just to get rid of them. Up next we have Hazil's Cult. I haven't done this quest in a very long time, so I have no idea what we're in for. Alright guys, we're here at the end of Hazil Cult. So we 
we chose the evil side because I didn't want to have to go search the crates for rewards. I just wanted everything all at once. So we'll be skipping out on five extra GP. But in the grand scheme of thing, that doesn't matter. There it is. One quest point, 2,000 coins, and 1,500 thieving XP. Which brings us up to 14. All right. Next on the list is Murder Mystery, and we will see you then. While we were on our way to go start this quest, it looks like we got an exam. So let's finish this out and figure out what we're going to put the XP into. All right, after thinking on it a bit, I think I'm going to put this in agility. We're going to have to train agility here in probably 10 quests anyway, so this will give us just a little boost. That brought us to level 11. Uh, just to give you guys an update, you need a pot for this quest, so we are heading over to Catherby to go pick up a pot over here, and then we'll head north and go to Sinclair Mansion. All right, this should be the end of Murder Mystery. Skip through all this dialogue here. Cool, three quest points, 2,000 of the finest GP, and 1406 crafting XP. Well, level 16 crafting, awesome. So up next is Merlin's Crystal. For this quest, we're gonna need bread, which we're gonna steal from the cake stalls in Ardoon, a tinder box, which we can get from a general store, and the rest of the items we can get during the quest, so I'm not concerned with those. So let's go gather those items, and we'll see you then. So for anyone following along, I wanted to show you that this Sir Mordred during this fight can be flinched. If you get him in this square, you can stand here directly, I guess that's northeast of him, wait for his health bar to disappear, click him and immediately click back, and he won't attack you back. Um, we mentioned flinching earlier in the ep episode, but this is a little bit different. This is actual proper flinching. This quest without teleports is an absolute pain in the ass. So we freed Merlin. We're gonna come down here and I think we need to speak to King Arthur to finish up. Let's see here. I freed Merlin from his crystal, yes! Six quest points and Excalibur. So while I was running around and stuff, I noticed Excalibur is actually so much better than my crappy little steel scimitar. So this is gonna be our new weapon for now until we get a, um, Till we get a rune scimitar. If you're watching this, that means you made it to the end of episode one. Now I have to learn how to edit these clips into a video. I think we'll be training wood cutting and fire making in the background while I'm learning, so these skills should be much higher in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.